Okay, welcome to part four of the Sound Camp Looper. Um, today we're going to discuss items that we haven't discussed in the previous um, videos. Uh, first, what we're going to start with is the Loop Master sample packs. Um, when we want to add more sample packs, we hit the More button. That'll take us directly to the Play Store. Uh, sound libraries and there we'll see all the range of sound libraries that we can download for our sound camp. What we do to install one is press on it like that and it comes up and asks us to install it because I've already installed this one it's not asking us but that's pretty much it. that's how simple it is and as I said before they're about a dollar US each. Um, Pretty self-explanatory there, so I'll go back to the mask. Uh, also, what I want to show you is I want to select this, just select one there, and I want to show you how to make your custom, your own custom sound. So what you can do is let's pick this one, and we'll go save as new sample pack. And we'll make custom O2. Let's call it test one. Save. Okay, so now when we go back to the sample pack, we can press this icon here and we can choose test one. We can load that up. Now once we're in our test sample pack we can muck around and not worry about ruining other sample packs. So what I wanted to show you was how to add our own voice to a loop and create our own samples. Um, to use a microphone, um, I've got a headphone microphone plugged in at the moment. When, the, when you press this microphone, if you haven't got one that'll ask you to plug in some headphones. So press that microphone button. Now it says tap a cell to record. So let's record on this one here. Now if you press this top button up there, it'll show you we've got a mic input threshold. This is the threshold at which the microphone and the looper will record our voice. At the moment it's set to minus 30. So anything above that, it will start recording onto that sample. So now we're ready to record, we select the microphone button, then tap the cell that we want to record in. Now as soon as I start to speak it'll record. One, two, three, four, five. Check. Okay, now I save the loop, save it as loop five. Check, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, the volume's a bit low, so I'll go to settings, select the loop that I've just recorded, select the volume there, and ra raise the volume. Check, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now we I showed you how you can create your own loops. Um, if you've got a loop from somewhere else, you can go to settings, select the loop you want to replace, and under the file folder here, you can choose any loop. Uh, file that you, you can insert, you, you can load it into your phone and then you can choose it here. So we can load that one up, press OK. And now, oh, where is it? Loop 5, loop yo, test this one. Yo, 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 what's up? Check, one, two, three. And that's in this. Okay. 
Okay, so you can see how that works. Um, so now to the scratch pad. So we'll just select a little backing track. Okay, so when we select the scratch pad, um, before I explained about the preset, um, what we're going to do this time is I'm going to show you when you hold the preset button down, that the actual presets have a set pattern as well. <laughs> We're using the presets and just doing the pattern manually. Okay, that's it for part four on the looper at this stage. If there's any more updates or new features, I'll post another video. Thanks for watching.